Hey guys, this is Ganon23000. You may remember that video of mine where I counted down my top 10 most epic Zelda bosses. Well, in that video, I tried my best to avoid using final bosses. So, let's take a look at just the final bosses. I'll be going over the endings for several Zelda games, so this is your spoiler alert. Now let's get going. Number 10 goes to Ganon from A Link to the Past. It's a good fight, but I put it lower on the list. This fight is very similar to other battles in the series, and it's essentially an updated battle from the one we saw at the end of the first Zelda game. Maladus takes number 9. I feel like this boss deserves the spot because of how unique the mechanics of the fight are. Of course, that's sort of a given with the way the DS games are programmed. Nonetheless, it's a cool fight, and it's the first final boss we have in the new Hyrule. Many others have said this time and time again, but it's just about the coolest thing when you're fighting your shadow, your match. And in this battle, that's the truth. Dark Link is one tough bastard. It almost pains me to put this fight so low on the list. This is the first time anyone saw our favorite boar in three dimensions, after all. Plus, with Ocarina of Time being such an iconic game within the series, we usually expect it to go higher on these lists, but I'm a hipster wannabe, so Cannon gets number 7. Nightmare is just another one of those really cool battles that we don't see very often. Link fights his own fears firsthand, and afterwards he wakes up from the dream world island of Kohalint. It's symbolism for something or other. This battle against Ganondorf is cool because of all the forms it takes, and it all leads up to a memorable fight against the Gerudo King. Yep. Number 5. Vadi gets number 4 because of the unique mechanics. It's reliant on the items and abilities you acquire throughout the rest of the game, using the can of pack eye, shrinking to pickery size, multiplying yourself with the four sword, etc. This makes the conclusion of Minish Cap a very entertaining one. Now, I'll be honest. I got lots of shit for not including any Majora's Mask bosses in my Top 10 Most Epic Zelda Bosses video. And I'll be the first to admit it. I... I... I, I feel terrible. So, third place is granted to Majora. For a beautiful and artistic game like this one, the final boss does not disappoint. It's dark, it's crazy, and it serves to be a fun challenge unless you have the Fierce Deity Mask. I'll be surprised if we ever have the opportunity to experience another tussle as bustling as this one again in the Zelda game. Yeah, yeah. Here's my moment of predictable behavior. Of course I was going to give Wind Waker a pretty spot on the list, but I still have to justify this decision. I love the puppet Ganon fight to death, but this is the real deal. No bullshit, just Ganondorf himself. The man. We get a well-rounded cutscene beforehand that actually gives the villain more human-like qualities. We learn about his motivations to save his people, and why he was envious of the people of Hyrule. Learning these things about his history really adds a lot to the Ganondorf character that we thought we knew. That's what makes this final encounter so epic. I might be taking a risk by giving this one first place because of the relatively recent release of Skyward Sword, but come on, fucking demise. This is the battle that started it all. This is the guy who leads to the origin of Ganon. He's like the devil of Hyrule. Seriously, his name even tells you that he's the incarnation of evil and death. Moving past that, this was just a cool fight. It looks great, it's tough, it's fun and you truly feel like a hero once you've taken him down. Actually, this is one of the only bosses in the Zelda series that I feel ended too soon. I made the final blow and I honestly asked myself, is it over already? I didn't want it to end, it was such a terrific climax to a great addition to the Legend of Zelda series. And that's all I've got for you right now. Be sure to comment and let me know what you think. Besides that, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time guys.